Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to dive into something truly exciting in the world of liver health, a new medication called Resdifra, which is a brand name for the drug Resmetyrum, approved by the FDA for the treatment of a specific condition called non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis, or NASH. What is non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis? Before we talk about Resdifra, let's understand what non-alcoholic steto hepatitis is. Non-alcoholic steto hepatitis is a serious form of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, where fat accumulates in the liver, causing inflammation and damage. It's often associated with other health problems, like high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. The need for a non-alcoholic steto hepatitis treatment. Historically, there have been no FDA-approved medications specifically targeting non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis, with liver scarring, or fibrosis. Patients have had to rely solely on lifestyle changes, like diet and exercise. But now, with the approval of Resdifra, we have a game-changer in the fight against this condition. Resmetyrum is classified as a thyroid hormone receptor, THR, beta-selective agonist. Here's a breakdown of how it works. Thyroid hormone receptor, these are proteins found in cells throughout the body that bind to thyroid hormones such as thyroxine, T4, and triodothyronin, T3. When a thyroid hormone binds to a receptor, it triggers changes in the cell's activity. Beta-selective, there are two main types of thyroid hormone receptors, alpha and beta. Resmi, tyrum preferentially targets the beta receptors. By specifically targeting the beta receptors in the liver, resmetyrum is thought to improve liver function and reduce inflammation in people with non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis. How Resdifra works? Resdifra, also known as resmetyrum, is a thyroid hormone receptor beta agonist. That's a mouthful, but it essentially means that it selectively targets and activates beta receptors in the liver. By doing so, it helps reduce liver fat accumulation, inflammation, and scarring, the hallmarks of non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis. The clinical trial. Resdifra's effectiveness was evaluated in a massive 54-month clinical trial involving 888 patients with non-serotic non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis, and moderate to advanced liver fibrosis. Patients were randomly assigned to receive either a placebo, 80 mg of resdifra, or 100 mg of resdifra once daily, along with counseling on diet and exercise. The results. After just 12 months, the results were remarkable. Between 24% and 36% of patients taking resdifra experience resolution of non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis, and no worsening of liver scarring, compared to only 9% to 13% of those on placebo. Additionally, 23% to 28% of resdifra patients saw an improvement in liver scarring. Without worsening of non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis, compared to just 13% to 15% of the placebo group. Potential side effects and precautions. Like any medication, Resdifra comes with potential side effects, the most common being diarrhea, nausea, itching, vomiting, constipation, abdominal pain, and dizziness. It's important to note that Resdifra should be avoided in patients. With decompensated cirrhosis and liver function should be monitored during treatment. Dosage and administration. The recommended dosage of Resdifra is based on your actual body weight. For those under 100 kg, the recommended dose is 80 mg once daily, while for those 100 kg and above, it's 100 mg once daily. Resdifra can be taken with or without food. Conclusion Resdifra represents a significant milestone in the treatment of non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis, offering hope to millions of people suffering from this condition. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with non-alcoholic steto, hepatitis, make sure to talk to your healthcare provider about whether Resdifra could be a suitable treatment option. 
Remember, this video is for informational purposes only, and you should always consult with a qualified medical professional before starting any new treatment. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay healthy.